Good evening, TVC family. Tonight we're going to be reading Freddy and the Fairy. Freddy found a fairy tangled in a tree. Help, I'm stuck, the fairy cried. So Freddy set her free. Thank you, said the fairy. My name is Bessie Bell. I'll grant you all your wishes, though I can't hear very well. Freddy, Freddy thought, then mumbled, I wish I had a pet. Why, so you shall, said Bessie Bell, and conjured up a net. I don't want fish, said Freddy. I'd rather have a dog. Hey presto, said the fairy, and conjured up a frog. Let's try again, said fairy. I wish I had a cat. That's easy, said the fairy, and conjured up a bat. I don't like bats, said Freddy. What about a mouse? Lift up the stone, the fairy said, and Freddy found a louse. That isn't right, said Freddy. Let's think, perhaps a parrot. I'll do my best, said Bessie Bell, and conjured up a carrot. Freddy stomped his feet and said, this carrot has no beak. Forgive me, said the fairy, and a tear rolled down her cheek. Just then, from out of nowhere, appeared the fairy queen. She dried the fairy's eyes and asked, Whatever does this mean? It's Bessie Bell said Freddy. She gets things wrong, he grumbled. I'm sorry, said the fairy, but that's because you mumble. Now, Freddy, said the fairy queen, she sounded kind but firm. Before you wish again, there are three rules you need to learn. Rule one, you mustn't mumble. Rule two, don't turn away. The fairy needs to read your lips to hear the words you say. Rule three, don't cover up your mouth. She can't see you through your hand. Obey these three golden rules. Then I'm sure she'll understand. So Freddy learned the three golden rules and now he speaks cl quite clearly and everything he wishes for comes true. Or very nearly. Thank you for joining me. Good night.